Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We give the glory to the almighty God, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Beloved, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, the Son and the Holy Spirit, that this is another day that you have given to your children. It is by your power, it is by your might, it is by your authority that we are still alive. You control life and you are the owner of life. Father, we thank you and we appreciate you for giving us another day. May your name be exalted this morning. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. I take this opportunity to welcome the viewers, the listeners of Prophet Kanewu, that this morning, God will bless you by listening to his word, because it is only him that can bless us all. May you be blessed in Jesus' name, amen. Beloved, my title of the message is the genuine prophet and the fake prophet. Let us go into the word of God because when God called his genuine men of God, he ordained them. So without wasting time, let us hear the word of God. The title is the genuine prophet and the fake. And without wasting time, shall we turn the Bible to Jeremiah, prophet Jeremiah, Jeremiah 28. And the verse is nine. Let's hear the word of God. As for the prophet's prophet, who prophesied of peace when the word of the prophet come to pass, the prophet will be known as the one whom the Lord has truly sent. Beloved, this morning we are going to see the real genuine, genuine prophet and the fake that prophesy and deceive the people of God. So without wasting time again, Prophet Jeremiah was called by God. And let us see in Jeremiah 1 and the verses 5. Let's hear the word of God. Before I form Jeremiah 1, Jeremiah 1, 5, before I form you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctify you. Hallelujah. I ordain you as a prophet to the nations. Beloved, when God called a genuine prophet, he gave them a message, a tax to be delivered. So prophet Jeremiah was called by God. That's why I said, the genuine and the fake. The real genuine prophet, they hear the voice of God. They speak the mind of God as we read. Jeremiah 28, and the verse is nine. And Jeremiah was a prophet for the nation. The real genuine prophet, like Jeremiah, was called by God. A genuine prophet, they speak the mind of God. And they are ordained, and they know the voice of the master who has called them.
Jeremiah knew his God by the prophecy that whatever he prophesied, it surely came to pass. So this morning, how can we differentiate? How can we know the real, genuine prophets like Jeremiah? Beloved, when you are not called by God, you will work for your master, Satan, and he will use you. And all what you say are lies. We continue. The verse 10. The Hananiah, the prophet, took a yoke of prophet Jeremiah's neck and break it. Beloved, these are two prophets. One was genuine, and the other one, he was not. He was working for his master. So everything he does wasn't from God. The spirit of God was not in him. Like Jeremiah was called and ordained. Hallelujah. I will sing a song to glorify the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And the song goes like that, like this. So one coming one and come a year day. Who saw me more? Who now who saw me more? Yehoah. Who saw me more? Who now who saw me more? So one saw me more and come a year day. So one saw me more. Amen. Beloved, how will you know the general prophets like Jeremiah? They prophesy of peace and prophecy of peace that is about our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The prophets, the general prophets, whatever they say, it surely come to pass. It might be right the way. It might be for a period of time, but surely it will surely come to pass. It might tarry, but surely it will come to pass. The prophets, that know are called by God. They are the servant. They work for God, him alone. And they carry the assignment and the tax to be fulfilled that the Holy Spirit uses them. That's why they are genuine. Hallelujah. Beloved, when God called Jeremiah, he sent him to the nation of Israel and to do the work of God. So beloved, it's the Holy Spirit that can help us in prayer to know the genuine prophets. Hallelujah. We continue that this fake prophet, which was Hananiah, we can see from Jeremiah 29 and the verse starts from 8. 
and 10. Let's hear the word of God. For thy say, the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, do not let your prophets and the diviners who are in your midst deceive you, nor listen to your dreams, which you cause to be dream. For the prophecy falsely to you in my name, I have not sent them, say the Lord. Beloved, they are not called. They don't know God. Like as our prophet Kenewu usually say, they are not called by God. They work for their master, which is Satan. They are counterfeit. God doesn't know them anywhere. Beloved, let us know about their deception. By knowing them, you have to let prayer, Holy Spirit, lead you in prayer and pray about them. And God will reveal them to us, or you or I. It is by the Holy Spirit that will let you or I to know that this is a fake. God doesn't know them. They work for Satan. Hallelujah. They don't know God, but they want to know the genuine prophet. Sometimes they test the genuine prophet, like as we read, Hanaya was a fake prophet challenging the genuine prophet. Beloved, the time is not on our side. We need to pray fervently. Let the Holy Spirit guide us. He is our teacher. He is our friend. He is our comforter. Without the Holy Spirit, we cannot make it. This is the end time. They are not genuine. They are fake pretenders. We have to be aware. Hallelujah. Beloved, our Lord Jesus Christ, he is our master. He is our king. Let us see a warning that he gave to us in Matthew 24, and the verse is 24. Let us see what God Almighty, our Lord Jesus Christ, said about the fake prophets. And I read, for the false crisis and the false prophet will arise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. This is by our Lord Jesus Christ. It's a warning to all of us that the fake or the false prophet, they will deceive even the elect. Let us be aware children of the most high God. We don't have time. Sooner and sooner, Christ is coming. They are here to deceive, to corrupt the mind of God, the mind of God's children, rather. Devil is a liar. Devil is a counterfeit. Beloved, let us be aware to serve God in sincerity and faithfulness and pray 
be on fire for God. And the anointing of the Holy Spirit will help us to grow in the Spirit. Hallelujah. May his word that he has given us this morning, as Jesus is warning us in Matthew 24, 24, the fake and the false prophet. If we are not aware, we will be deceived. That means when we are deceived, we cannot be with our master, the one who has promised us that he is going to prepare a place and come back and take us with him. What a faithful God. What a faithful master. What a, what a faithful savior that whatever he says is surely come to pass. May we be aware about the end time deception of this fake prophet. May God have mercy upon us through the Holy Spirit that this is a warning to all of us, the children that are called by God. Let us know the general prophet. And my last question is, are there many general prophets this end time? Yes, they are general prophets. Like Prophet Kenewu, whatever he says on his platform, it surely come to pass. Because Isaiah 28, Verse 9, let us know that a general prophet, whatever they say, is surely come to pass. That let us know the genuine and the fake. Hallelujah. We give God the glory. We give God the honor for a message like this. These are the messages that we need that will help us and run away and not be deceived by the fake. That prophet, that does not know God. They work for their master, Satan. May God help us. May the Holy Spirit help us to know the word of God and we will know their tricks. May God Purpose this morning. I take this opportunity for God to bless the listeners, the viewers of Prophet Kanewu. And also, may God Almighty bless Prophet the good work that he has ordained him to do as a servant, as a general prophet. May God bless Prophet Kanewu and the family. We give God the glory. We give God the honor. And a moment like this, that's all we need. The word of God that will help us to know the genuine and the fake prophet. May his word be praised. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. <laughs>